Warriors looking to bounce back after a loss to Boise and a week to think about it. Coming off the bye week, offense looks like they're back. Bryant Moniz to Royce Pollard for 39 yards. And the score, Warriors up early 7-0. Pollard finished with four grabs for 97 yards. And the defense, they never took a week, week off. Jordan Lasekla intercepted by A.B. That's Aaron Brown. Walks into pay dirt, pick six. Warriors on a row up 17-0. Career single game passing record for Warrior QB Bryant Moniz, 560 yards, breaking Colt Brennan's record of 559. Deep ball goes to Greg Salas. He finished with eight catches for 144 yards and a touchdown. And Alex Green finishes off the drive for UH, 39 yards on eight carries and this score. Warriors crushed the Spartans by 34 points. Moniz went for 30, 32 for 44, 560 yards and three touchdowns. KLO Pilar is off the hamstring injury Caught nine balls for 154 yards and a score. 41 to seven, the final. Next up for the Warriors, New Mexico State. Welcome to sports, Jemai Webster here. Former Warrior long snapper, Jake Ingram, cut by the New England Patriots last week, is now on the move. 2009 six round draft pick, signed with defending Super Bowl champ New Orleans Saints today. A spot opened up for the Mililani grad after Saints long snapper, Jason Kyle, was placed on injured reserve. How's it going, everybody? As we told you earlier, former Warrior, or excuse me, current Warrior junior quarterback, Brian Moniz tonight, led UH to its eighth victory of the season in record-breaking fashion. Number 17 set the University of Hawaii's single game passing yardage record in the Warriors' 34-point victory over San Jose State as the Wahiwa native completed 32 of 44 passes for 560 yards, one yard more than the previous record set by Heisman Trophy finalist Colt Brennan in the 2006 Hawaii Bowl. Now, Lelihua graduate connected on three touchdowns on the night as the UH offense collected 626 total yards. As for the defense, straight up nasty, posting eight sacks on the night with linebacker Aaron Brown recording two interceptions, one of them taken to the house. Warriors win 41 to 7, improving to 8 and 3 on the season, 6 and 1 in the West athletic conference up next on the road against New Mexico State next Saturday. Good news regarding former Warrior long snapper Jake Ingram. Mililani graduate signed a one-year deal with the defending Super Bowl champion Saints today. Ingram, who was released from New England two weeks ago, will be on the active roster for the Saints home game against the Seahawks tomorrow in New Orleans. Hawaii and San Jose State, two teams moving in opposite directions. The Spartans have lost seven straight, while Hawaii is looking to move one step closer to a 10-win season. You're looking at the nation's top passer right there, Brian Muniz and the gang, looking to get back into the win column after a crushing defeat at Boise State. Up 10 to nothing in the second, Hawaii's defense comes alive. Aaron Brown with the pick six, 17 to nothing UH. Then it's Alex Green's turn. He makes it 24 to seven just before the half with this short run. Then Muniz to one of his favorite targets. That's Greg Salas. He'll make the nice stretch for the TD Hawaii up 34 to seven. Muniz's other favorite target, Keloha Polaris, also gets into the end zone. The Warriors slam the Spartans 41 to seven and improved to eight and three on the season, six and one in wax play. Muniz threw for a school record 560 yards and three touchdowns. This record puts him in the third place for most yards passing in Warrior history behind Colt Brennan and Timmy Chang. Polaris piled up 154 receiving yards.